In this lesson, we'll continue our review of problem solving and data analysis concepts from the official PSAT practice test, section 4, Calculator Permitted, question 17. We have this histogram. Let's read the question. The graph above shows the amount of protein supplied by five different food products, A, B, C, D, and E, as a percentage of their total weights. The cost of 10 grams of products A, B, C, D, and E are $2, $2.20, $2.50, $4, and $5, respectively. Which of the five food products supplies the most protein per dollar? So to get protein per dollar, we have the cost of all these products. So what I will first do is just correspond the cost with the products. We know A is $2, B is $2.20, C two dollars and fifty cents D is four dollars and E is five dollars alright so this is the cost of the products and we want to see which has the most protein per dollar let's figure out how many grams of protein we're told that these costs are based on 10 grams let's figure out how many grams of protein they'll each have so remember 10 total grams so now we use this histogram Product A is 10% protein, 10 total grams for the $2, and so that will contain one gram of protein. This one is 15%, so it's going to be 1.5 grams of protein. C will have 20%, so that's 2 grams of protein. D, 2.5 grams of protein, and E will have 3 grams. We want to see which of these products supplies the most protein per dollar. Some of these you don't even need a calculator. For example, with A, we know that it's one gram for two dollars, so this is gonna provide 0.5 grams per dollar. This one for B, we probably need our calculator here. So this is gonna be 1.5 divided by 2.2. So now this one has the most so far. This one has 0.68 grams per dollar. And C, C is 2 over 2.5, so 2 over 2.5, that is going to be 0 0.8. Again, you could use your calculator, but we could see these are intervals of 5, so there's 4, and that's 5. This is 0.8, this is by far the biggest. And you might want to look at the choices, because we have 5, but if you look at the choices just to save time, we don't even need to compute D, that's not a choice, but that would be 2.5 over 4. And the last one is E, and E is 3 over 5, we know 3 over 5 is 0.6. And so the one that provides the most protein per dollar is C.